So just before we begin the real lesson today, we're just playing a quick warm-up game, okay, Nina? All right, we're going to play a quick warm-up game. I'll explain it real quickly. We are live now, okay, guys? The game is to find out what the other person has, what the name of the other person on the other team is, using only what language? English. Chinese. Oh, sorry, English, yes. Okay? You do have what we call a cheat sheet to help them if they forget their grammar. They don't need it. Uh, Grace, please give me a card. And don't show anybody there. Do you want to show the camera for me? Do you want to show the camera what you've got? But don't show anybody else on the other team. Okay. You guys, uh, you take the last one. You, okay, hang on, here you go. Okay. And I'm going to show the other team. I'm going to show the camera real quick. This is the one they got. Go <laughs> look, guys, here, don't you? There you go, guys. Um, who went first in the last game? You guys? So you guys get to go first this game? Off you oh, go. go. Oh, sorry, who went first last? Last time they go when they go first. Okay, so it's you guys go first this time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no one Is it a man? Yes, it is. Good. Only full sentences. No one word questions, one word answers. Good. Check. Was you guys measure twice? Cut once. Cut once. They're blue enough, yes. So check two times before you do something. Your turn. Does he have a beard? A beard, guys. Uh, Amy, you have to help as well, okay? Come over and make sure you're all in the team. A beard? Is, is this a beard or this a beard? Which one is the beard? Oh, yeah. The beard yeah. is in the bottom, that's yeah. right. Don't let anyone see your card. So they don't have beard. That's not a beard, they're sideburns. That's not a beard. No, he has not. No, no, so he don't have beards. That's it, well done. Only turn over the beards, well done. Yes. 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 Yes.
does. Yes, he does. Yeah, yeah guys. Have a think about your gameplay now. What's your gaming strategy? You have two left each. Are you going to ask a question or have a guess? Yes, yes, yes. Is it? Is it Simon? That's yes, line one more time. Is it Simon? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, show them your cards. Yes. Okay, guys. Just for a bonus point, that's three million seven hundred fifty-five thousand six hundred thirty-three wow. points. One just for an extra one point, do you want to guess what they got? Thomas. Thomas. Yeah. Yes. It is. Well done, guys. Right. Okay. Yes, good. Let's it's begin. Finished. Please give me. Oh, I saw it Guys, please give me your guest cards. Now please pack up your guest food game. Time to begin. No, no, no. You can just talk about it. Amy, please put the fly spots from that team and your team on the shelf. Thank you very much. Uh, Chasha, please give me my cheat sheets. Thank you. The clip is on the floor behind you. Please come and sit in a semicircle around my great chair. Would you like me to help you? Thank you ever so much. Thank you ever so much. Whoa! Thank you ever so much. Great work, guys. I'm going to move this over here so it's not in the way. Okay, guys, excellent work. Wonderful. Let me turn my music off for a second. Now, let's have a quick talk, real quick, uh, about what you've been doing this week. Just be real quick. I want you to tell me two things you've done in the last week. Remember, we need to use what tense? Past tense. Past tense, tense for all of the verbs. So it's not like go to school, I Limit. went to school. Great. Okay, I'll go first. Yeah. In the last week, I have booked a room on Kosamui because I need to go and do some work in Kosamui next week. So I booked a room using a goda. And this morning, I walked my dog. I can do three things. After I walked my dog, I went for a run. Because I'm getting back and oh, I'm gonna do that. Okay? Would anybody like to raise their hand first? Yes, Grace. Last, last Sunday, I did walk up so early because I need to do some and how was it? Was it an easy test or a difficult test? I think English is kind of easy, but there is one question, two, two of it in science that I can answer. Oh, but the English was kind of easy for you? Yes. Yeah, excellent work, you fist bump for that, because English is kind of easy. Boom. Yes, Nina? Um, Did you buy a nice dre dress? I got a pumpkin dress. Excellent <laughs> fist bump through a pumpkin dress. Who wants to go next? DJ. Oh, yes. Very loud outside like the traffic. Nice and loud for me, darling. Um, so yesterday is Monday, right? And yesterday I learned how to play violin. And I just learned a new song. It's a Christmas song. So you learned to play the violin in one day? No, no, not in one day. Right? Who's teaching you Christmas songs? Um, his teacher... No names, it's okay. Just a teacher. Your violin teacher. Cool. What was the name of the Christmas song? This one. Just Christmas song. Just a Christmas song. Yeah. Oh, well, fair enough. Get, get, get yeah, prepare yeah. early, right? Oh, Jingle Bells. That's a nice one. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Yes? Uh, last week, I have a scientist. 
You would do what? What? I have a science test. You had a science test. Yeah. Was it an easy test or a difficult test? Easy because um, my teacher said that you can um, open the book. Oh, well, that does make tests easy when you're allowed to open the book. Okay, let's not talk about it too much then. But well done for well done for being good at eating science. Boom, this month for that. Boom, well done for playing music, even though it's not Christmas. Boom. Anyone else want to talk? Yes, my time. You went to eat what? A young girl. No, it's um, um, the the um, the like a shabu restaurant. Yes. What did you eat? I you ate. Which is your favourite meat? Pork. Pork. Great. Well, I'm saying pork and not pig. Because we don't eat pigs. Oh, you take care of pigs and you eat pork. Would anybody <laughs> else like to say anything else about that last week? Mm, no? Nothing. You want to say something extra? Okay. Yes. Yeah, I also have, um, last week I also have science lecture and teacher also said you can open the phone and for um, the notebook for five minutes and but you cannot write down while you are working. And that's so unfair because me and my friend are proud to study at night. And then the next day, the next day, she, she just said, yeah, you can't open the notebook. And they're like, what? They just learned like the notebook. Yeah, it's okay though, because it's called revision, right? It's called revision, when you're allowed to review what you did in advance. I think, I think finally though, you would get the benefit two times. You'll get benefit from studying the night before, and a little bit more the next day. Don't worry about whether it's fair to others. Worry about how good you're going to be at that. Yes, Nina. Um, after last week, um, I have um, some science um, test. Um, last week, um, teachers say you can open book like um, DJ and Shasha. But my friends said to me she didn't have a, a book, so I gave it to him and I'm doing a Forty-two out of forty-five. That's pretty good. Fist bump for giving your friends some help like that. Mm. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> okay, last one because we need to move on. Yes, Gracie. Me, me, Bam Pam, and no one also have science tests that can look in the book too. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Look, there's nothing but it's called an open book test. Oh. It's okay, don't worry about it. <laughs> when you study at university you can often have open book tests. But it's not about knowing the facts, right? What do, okay, I'm going to let somebody in this room speak Thai. Who can read Thai really well? Who's really good at reading Thai? No. Not a bigger man, just a little bit. I can read it. Read a lot. Okay, Gracie, read what it says on the back of my shirt, please. That's right, that's by Mr. Albert Einstein. Education is not the learning of facts, but the training of your mind to think. So it's okay to have a book open if yes. you're only trying to practice thinking, not learning. C-A-T, cat, now I'm out. That's, that's not education, is it? That's memorization. Well done, everybody. Big clap, please. <laughs> Big clap, please. Big clap, yes. I know it. <laughs> Well done, guys. Okay. Um, we were talking about verbs just now. Past tense verbs. A verb is a part of speech. What other parts of speech can you think of? Raise your hand if you can think of any other parts of speech. Yes? Noun. Noun. Adjective. Adjective. Pronoun. Pronoun. Adverb. Adverb. Verb, uh, article, preposition, preposition, in, on, under, across from, preposition of time, preposition of place. Great, that's plenty, that's, that's most of them, you got most of them, so that's great. Now, today, let's have a quick look at adjectives. Who can remind me what do adjectives do? 
they describe nouns or they m -m 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 modify. They modify nouns. Modify is the correct word. But describe is also correct. High five. Shoo. High five. Shoo. High five. Shoo. High five. Shoo. Okay, good. <laughs> yes. Adjectives modify nouns. So let's play a memory game. Ow. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. I will go first. One second, DJ. We'll do this in a minute. Any questions coming in? One second. We're going to go this way around. So it's easier for you two and much harder for you guys. And I get the harder to do this. One. You ready? Yes. I went shopping and bought. Yep, yeah, right. Now, the shop we went shopping at is a crazy shop that can sell everything in the universe. Anything you can think of, you can buy. I will go first. I went shopping and I bought an angry dragon. Crazy chair. I think you said a crazy chair, but okay, a crazy chair. I went shopping, I went shopping and, and bought. And bought. Uh, uh, no, no, you can't say it. You can show her. creepy glasses, a large map of the world, and seven clever students. Well done. Big clap, everybody. Come back. Big clap, everybody. Come back. No, I can't trick you twice, obviously. Cool. Very good. Very good. So, adjectives modify nouns. Do you know the difference between a common and a proper noun? 
Very, very good example. Thank you. Give Gracie a clap. And stop. Give Gracie a clap. Okay. Yes, I'll give you a bit of a better explanation. The noun is the thing. The proper noun is kind of like the name of the thing. All right? So, let's play a quick game. If I say a noun, put your hand on your forehead. If I say a proper noun, put two fingers on your forehead. Are you cold? Do you want me to turn the aircon down? If you're cold, I can turn the aircon down. Are you ready? Yeah. So, for example, school. Common noun. That's them. And about Jaguar. Proper noun. It's the name of a noun. Um, huh? That's them. Car. You don't smack yourself in the face. It's <laughs> a really bad idea. I have one student who did that. Whack. Yes, a car is a common noun. Mitsubishi. Mm -hmm. It's the name of an excellent How's that? Country. How's that? Thailand. How's that? City. Good, common name. How's that? Nakonsi. Tamara. Good. How's that? Girl. Great. Amy. The name of a girl. <laughs> Excellent work, you're doing really good. Teacher. Student. Jay. <laughs> Excellent. Well done. Hand yes. hand. Cool. And proper nouns always begin with what? Name. Like your name is a common proper noun. What does it always begin with? Tabernacles. Well done. Fist bump for that. <laughs> so, yes. Proper nouns always begin with capital letters. The yeah. names of things. Excellent. Now, who can tell me what's the difference between these types of nouns? This is revision from last week. Chair, water. They're both nouns. What's the difference between the noun chair and the noun water? So, whoa, whoa, whoa. raise your hand and wait. Yeah, raise your hand. It's okay. If you know, raise your hand. If you don't raise your hand, it means you don't know. So, I'm checking who knows from last week. I'm asking you to tell me what the difference between a chair and water is. In the grammar sense. Yes, my man. Countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Give Pam a big clap. Good. Countable and un or non-countable nouns. You can call them countative, countable, non-countable, uncountable. It's all the same. Nouns you can count. And nouns you cannot count. Who can give me an example of a countable noun? Everybody should raise their hand. Go. Um, chair, table, the card, marker, um, Good. Give me an example of an uncountable noun. Yes, Grace? Copy. Excellent. Hands down. <gasps> it's now time to sit in your same teams. Actually, let's do it differently. Let's have Amy and Nina come and sit over here on the floor. You three, because you're all over there. And you two can sit over here. Every team, grab yourself a pencil. I will get you some scrap paper. It's time to brainstorm non countable nouns. I will get you some paper in one second. I please would like you to sit off the rug so you can write properly to sit down here. Okay? I recommend you write numbers down, one, two, three, four, as you're writing them. So you don't have to count them at the end. And you know, there you go. You three, here you go. You two, here you go. You feel okay? You have a good idea, okay. You want to need to take a break? Okay, if you do, let me know, okay? I'll, DJ, you can probably sit on the chair with it here. Don't. There you go. I feel like 
the best, I will give you 79 seconds. Go. Work as a team, Amy, Nina, okay? You have to work together, help each other, talk to each other. Girls, you're looking at the wrong side of the paper. <laughs> Brainstorm non countable names, please. your brains, trying to think really hard. I know that you two weren't here, but you might know. Yes, no one? Exactly. Yes. You use countable nouns to count uncountable nouns. Huh? Yes? Spoon. There's an example of one. A spoon. What could you, what could you count with using a spoon? Uh, salt. Salt. Sugar. Sugar. Water? Milk. Milk, yeah, yeah. Rice? Maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah, a spoonful of rice, if you're eating the rice. Okay. What would you use? What would you use to count tomato sauce? I can think of two things, or three. Yes, Grace? A bowl and plate. A bowl of tomato sauce. A plate of tomato No, I mean, you could, but that would be crazy. What do you really use? A can. A can of tomato sauce? That comes in cans, maybe. A bottle of tomato sauce, definitely. Bottle? Yes, a bottle. What about when you order a pizza from a pizza company? How does it? How do you get the tomato sauce? What does it come in? 
That's the pizza. What does the tomato sauce come in? Yes, no, no? It does, but what's the word for the little thing? No, no. This bump. Boom. A packet or a sachet? So that's a very happy A little packet, a little packet of ketchup, yeah. Yeah. A little packet of ketchup. Now, last week, what, what kind of activity were we talking about where you might need to count uncountable things a lot? Uh, Something that some of your mums do. Uh, for example, well, your dads as well, I'm sure I do this. Dear, no mind, for example, your mum has often brought me uh, things like this. They're delicious. You, your, your mum does it for a business sometimes, DJ? Yes? Cake. Cake is an example of it, yes. What's it called, the activity? Uh, cooking. Cooking is definitely one of them. Baking. Baking. Yeah. Cooking. Big clap, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Cooking or baking? Because who can raise their hand and tell me one or two of the main ingredients when you bake? When you bake a cake, what do you use? Flour. Flour. Sugar. Butter. Butter. Baking soda. Baking soda. Uh, sauce. Huh? Uh, salt. Salt. Milk. Milk. Sugar. Sugar. We've had that, yes? Um, huh? Cream. Cream. Egg. Egg. Eggs. Whipped cream. Whipped cream. Okay, you're getting straight yes? Butter. Butter, we've had that. Okay, yes, great, yes. Oil. Oil as well. Yes. You might use some oil. And um, chocolate. You can't count chocolate, you can count bars of chocolate or pieces of chocolate. Huh? Fruit? Yes, yes, yes. You can count pieces of fruit. Um, what would you need if you wanted to be very, very exact about how you are counting? Using the, um, what do they call it? Uh, the measure thing. Who knows what that is in English? I'm not going to let you talk Thai. Begins with an S, C, A, L, E. Scale. Scale. You would use a scale to weigh the weight of the object. Who can remember from last week the, ex the specific things we use to measure things like flour and, and, and baking soda? It was the same thing you might use to measure coffee. Um, oh, yes? Teaspoon. Teaspoon? Tablespoon. Tablespoon. Mm. And? Mm. Yes? Small spoon. Oh, Small spoon is a teaspoon. C-U-P. A cup. C-U-P. A cup. Yes. Or a scoop is what you measure ice cream with. Excellent. Come and have a look at the TV real quick. I see you. 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 Different amount to an English tongue. 
Because English is perfect. But that's very okay. Easy. Not very easy. Don't call me very silly. A little bit. English. English, okay. And have you seen these in your mother or father's house? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They are measuring spoons, or as Pam Pam calls them, little spoons. Measuring spoons. Excellent. Brilliant. That's really good, guys. I'm very, very impressed with you guys. Okay. Let's have a look at our Listen and answer. Now, do you think you can remember or do you want to make notes? Make notes. Okay. Who would like to be the secretary? On, you want to be the secretary on the whiteboard? Okay, thank you for that. Let me get you a pen. Please stand up. Here is the whiteboard. But today, we're not going to read, you have to listen and help that one write it down, okay? Now, if you spell them incorrect, don't worry. It's not about spelling, okay? Don't worry. Don't worry. If you make a mistake, we'll just take you outside and have you shot. Oh my gosh. Oh no, we're going to do that. I'm sorry, that's, that's, <laughs> that's the university. Yeah. We're going to the university, sorry. For a second. Volume on. Volume up. Over to here. And click the side. So now, uh, Gracie, you to the sorry, Grace, you can be in charge of the mouse. And you can listen as many times as you need to listen. Okay? H word and I look. C. Listen. Ask and answer. Then practice. So listen to the example first. How much flour does he need? This example. He needs a cup of flour. Two half cups equal one cup. Four quarter cups equal one cup. Sixteen tablespoons equal one cup. Forty-eight teaspoons equal one cup. Okay, one. 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 How much flour does he need? You got that right, He needs a cup of flour. Cup. Two. How much water does she need? She needs a half cup of water. Three. How much salt does he need? He needs a quarter cup of salt. Four. How much cooking oil does she need? She needs a tablespoon of cooking oil. Five. How much baking soda does he need? He needs a teaspoon of baking soda. Six. How much food coloring does she need? She needs a drop of food coloring. I would recommend one more time. It would probably help. Grace, would you like to start again? Push the play button. See, listen, ask, and answer. Then practice. How much flour does he need? He needs a cup of flour. Two half cups equal one cup. Four quarter cups equal one cup. Sixteen tablespoons equal one cup. Forty-eight teaspoons equal one cup. One. How much flour does he need? He needs a cup of flour. Two. How much water does she need? She needs a half cup of water. Three. How much salt does he need? He needs a quarter cup of salt. Four. How much cooking oil does she need? She needs a tablespoon of cooking oil. Five. How much baking soda does he need? He needs a teaspoon of baking soda. Six. But how much food coloring does she need? She needs a drop of food coloring. Okay, you good? Yes. 
please sit back down in the same teams you used to brainstorm. Please sit back down in the same teams you used to brainstorm. Now you can sit on the rug though if you like. Because we're not doing any writing. You can sit on the rug. You don't need that. So it's on the whiteboard guys. You can see on the whiteboard everything you're going to need to know. You can see on the TV screen numbers one through six. Sh uh, Amy, catch. Oh, Nina, or Amy. Cha cha, catch. Bad catch, bad throw, my mistake. No one? You ready to catch? Little dice! You've all got a dice in your hand with numbers one through six. I need you to roll the dice and ask the person next to you a question based on what you can see on the TV and the whiteboard. Do you want to sit next to each other like this or do you want to move away a little bit? The TV is nice and big, you can see the numbers one through six. The question, how much does he or she need? Nina, do you have any questions? Any questions? Any questions? No. Okay, three, or oh, one second, let me get some music ready first, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So sad. Three, two, one, go. Question answer. Three. How much